Let's now focus on one person who has an hearing impairment with unique skills and the typical salon visited most often is where a client to walk in and have a conversation with their hairdresser about an intended hairstyle. But when one walks into the salon operated by Anthony Ayite Ayikwe, you might not get the chance to have a normal conversation. Wendy Lai spent a day with him as he has become a shining example of what hearing impaired persons can achieve with hard work and dedication. currently at IBE, a community in Accra, and I will be interacting with a hearing impaired beautician and hairdresser who is doing very well despite the odds. Good morning, Aise. Yeah. How are you? Thank you. Work always begins with a prayer at the Heaven Sent Salon owned by Ayiti. Some cleaning is done, perhaps to give credence to the same cleanliness as next to godliness. Venice is Ayiti's first client for the day. She's here to wash in style. Venice has been patronizing the services of Ayiti for the past 15 years. While washing Venice's hair, Ayiti's second client was there helping himself out. I would say it's the best. Anytime I come to a salon, it does everything that I want for me and do it well. Desmond Keck was there to braid his hair. He's been with Aite for two years. With him, through him, I learned the sign language. When he do some signs, I, I tell him, oh, I don't like this sign. I, I like three braid, bow left, and the other one braid at the life side. Zara has been a customer since 2010. She described him as fast and customer friendly with a good sense of time. I've been doing washing, relaxing of my hair. He never turns any customer away, no matter the time you get here provided he's here. According to the 48-year-old hairdresser, his impairments developed seven months after his birth. His interest in hairdressing, he says, originated from his mom, who used to be a hairdresser. He took up apprenticeship at a friend's salon while a student of the Mampon School for the Deaf. Anytime I come home on vacation, I go to her place. She had a shop at Kanda where I learned how to braid people's hair. For about four years later, I had a work and pay for about a year. After a year, I finished with my own shop and I moved since 1998. Aite has been a member of the Ghana Hairdressers and Beauticians Association since 2008. In a day, Aite indicated he attends to between 15 and 20 clients. He admits, first-timers are always amazed. Uh, huh. Immediately the person comes in, I welcome the person, I give the person a seat, he sits down, I give him the list I work on here, then he shows me this is exactly what I want to do, then I show him the associated price. If he accepts it, then I begin to work on that individual. Aite believes in empowering people, particularly persons living with disability. He's presently training two apprentices who are also hearing impaired. Four hearing persons have also been trained under his tutelage. Though self-employed, Aite's endeavor proves persons with disability can engage in decent work as envisaged under Goal 8 of the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. SDG Goal 10, Target 2, focuses on empowering and promoting the social, economic and political inclusion of all, irrespective of age, sex, disability, race, ethnicity, origin, religion, or economic or other status by 2030. Aite and others like him do not only make a case for the potential of persons living with disability, but provide an impetus for the country to accelerate the pace of achieving SDG Goal 10. A deaf child is as good as a hearing child. They should encourage them to go to school and after school 
if possible, learn a trade. His apprentices were appreciative of Aite's tutoring. Aite also works as a makeup artist. He made Emilia quasing up for her marriage ceremony some years ago. But I could not have ended my story without a touch of Aite's hands. Aite believes his hearing impairment is not an impediment to him being a successful hairdresser and beautician. He's of the view hearing impaired persons should develop themselves instead of begging for arms. Wendy Lai, TV3.